What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon. I've made a couple of changes here to the schedule for this game. As you can see, we now have all of the scenarios unlocked. Um, I did this by doing a little cheating. I know it's cheating. You shouldn't cheat, kids. It's bad for you. But in order to save some time, I thought that this would be the better option to do. Because as you can see, whoops, whoa, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, but if you've been watching, basically, I've been doing a scenario and then running through the rest of the scenario by myself and then showing you guys the conclusion. Um, and I really don't think that that is probably the most efficient route to take. It's taking up about five episodes and a whole lot of my time to be able to do this. And uh, right now my time is very, very limited uh, when it comes to being able to do these. So I thought what we would instead do is we'll go into each scenario it will either A, hit our objective, or B, spend all of our money and build some cool rides. And at that point, we'll move on to the next scenario. Um, and that should be able to condense the episodes down from about five per scenario to about two per scenario. Um, that'll save me a lot of time, that'll allow me to put out more content, and that will allow us to move on to other things as well. So, with that being said, let's get ready to do Big Pier. Convert this sleepy town's pier into a thriving attraction. All right, so we have to get 600 guests in the park at the end of October year two with a park rating of at least 600, which we technically won't be doing entirely, but we will hit that objective, which we should be able to do fairly quickly. How much land do we have to work with? I didn't even catch that. Uh, where's the boundaries? Do we have all of this? No way. Okay, that must be the boundary going around. I don't know. I'm missing something here. Let's just go ahead and start building. Ah, this is interesting. So do we not own any of the land? That's crazy. Guess it needs to be above water then. Yeah, let's me build it up like that, okay. I can work with that. Just get our basics down so these people don't starve. My two guests in the park. Yeah, there's only two. They're just kind of wandering around. Come on, buy my sugary goodness. Give ourselves a little bit of an entrance fee. Okay, we'll throw down a ride. We have a very limited amount of space, it looks like. Can I build things like way over here? No. Nope. Not sure where the limits are for this park. Okay, so it must be just this raised territory over here. Okay, so I can build all the way out over here. Just can't go much further. So we're going to have to be real conservative. Probably should have done that the opposite, but whatever. Step right up, folks, and get on the scrambling eggs. This is a very interesting design considering I can't figure out exactly where my boundaries are at. But I'm assuming it's this flat territory that you can see. We'll stick another ride here next to it, and that does seem to be the case. Yeah, because I can't build anything out here, so that must be what is separating it. I kind of wish it would tell me, though. That's a little frustrating. There's no boundary lines. But I guess uh, normally the game doesn't list boundary lines when you're in water. Let's do one forward rotation. Step right up, folks. I guess nobody wants to ride today. Eventually we'll get some people in this dang park. Let's go ahead and get a few campaigns going. run a campaign for the Ferris wheel. We have the only Ferris wheel in town. Everybody come out and ride. Be 
behold the might that is my Ferris wheel. Let's get a merry-go-round. Everybody loves a good merry-go-round. Especially the types that don't like intense rides. Thanks for the comments that informed me that um, intensity is not quite as daunting as I thought it was, or as much of a problem. Fitting these all in real tightly over here. It's like, play bleh, it's like playing Tetris, except the parts don't disappear. Get some ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. You have to pardon me if I sound a little weird today. I've been sick. Um, but today was really the best day for me to spend some time with this. My voice might sound a little nasally sometimes. Step right up and use the porta potty. Doesn't matter what gender you are, everyone has the same gender in this game. See if we can get one of these little roller coasters and squeeze it in here. It'll probably fit somewhere. Ooh, there's a spot. Nice. I am okay with this. Of course, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get the line out. Okay, we got some room, so not too bad. Yeah, perfect. Here come the folks. Come on, everybody. Yeah, buddy. We got a roller coaster. Yeah, we should probably do a test run. Let the testers decide. We're gonna have to cram in some really small Pre-built. I think that's going to be the only way to get around it for this scenario. Any smaller ones? This one's kind of small. I don't think it's going to fit, though. We don't have a lot of selection when it comes to that. We definitely should do shops and stalls at the moment, because I don't think we have our info kiosk. And that is an essential part of any park, as you know by now, because we've done 60 episodes. I swear, at the rate we were going, this is probably going to take 150 to 200 episodes. So that's another reason I've decided to change it up a bit. This would be a good ride to have. Considering we're surrounded by water. Stick it right there. Put the line over here and kind of wrap it around, I think. Let's put it like this instead. Put this over here. Going up. I think it's only raised two up, so we shouldn't have too much problem connecting things. God, that is the end of the park. Sweet. Really hope they can find their way back. They shouldn't have any trouble. If they do, I'll just close the ride. Luckily, it's a small park, so we don't have to worry too much about handymen. That's the other thing about not playing the entire scenario is I don't have to spend too much time um, just mapping all these guys out. I don't have to worry about it as much. In fact, let's not worry about it at all. I'm just going to throw a few of these guys around the map and hope for the best. I think there's a way to mass close all these windows. There might very well be, but I don't know what it is. It's not bad. 7.7 .7 intensity. Some people will love it. Oh yeah, we didn't take out our loans. 
Give me all your money, bank. This is a stick up. For a particular ride, let's give it for roller coaster number one. Now yeah, we got a couple people on the boat hire. Check out the bathroom over here. I hate it when people complain about being able to use the bathroom. You're on a damn pier. Just piss over the side, I don't care. I don't have any security here. You can do whatever you want. Start jacking up this fee a little bit more. Give me all your funds. And I will present you with rides. You know, we could try building a custom ride in here. We might be able to do it. Gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze. Do something like this. Cut it a little tighter than that, I think. Hmm. How are we gonna make this happen? Probably like this, perhaps? I might need to cut, uh, it's not gonna cut sharper. But this one will. Whoa. Took it under the track. I don't want to take it under the track. It's going to be a really small bit here. I guess that's just what we have to work with. I guess it's going to be one train moving at a time. But that's okay. Very, very short coaster. Right to the point. Let's run a test. I probably could have lowered this down to be lower to the ground, but I'm not sure how that would work, considering I can't raise the terrain. Wait, I don't want this car. I want a better looking car. The spinny thing. Spinny cars for the win. And 10 minute inspection time. There's no way this could be too intense. But then again, it may not be able to be completed. Very conservative with our space. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth right into the station. My guess is that it will be all mediums. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice. It's actually a pretty good score. For such a short ride. Let's see how the park is going. We needed 600 guests, 600 rating. Oh yeah, we've totally blown that one out of the water. This one shouldn't take very long at all. I want to try to get as many things up as we can in that short amount of time. Nice, I can fit another one of these in here. Will it fit in between this coaster? That's what I want to know. Because that would be kind of cool. No? Maybe? No? Alright. Let's take it right there. Oh wait, this is the same ride. Dur -dur -dur. I don't want the same ride. I want a slightly different mine car. Why don't you want to fit? This odd shaped one fit? No? No? 
Maybe? Yes. Oh, that's cool. I got it to loop under the path. I'm into that. It's a perfect fit. I'll just connect it right up. Just like so. With the mine cars. Just leave it at one. And we'll go for a test run. Let's see what we end up with. I really like how it loops under the path. I think we got pretty lucky there. That's why you have to check every little nook and cranny of the map to see if it'll fit. And have interesting results. These are actually pretty efficient roller coasters. They're quite cheap. Not expensive at all. Nice. All right, people, step right up. Let's get that entrance fee up. 60 bucks. Great if I could fit. Ooh, I saw a spot for one. Where was it? Where'd you go? Right there. Just start clicking like crazy, and eventually it'll put the park ride down for you. You just have to keep trying. Don't ever give up, kids. Follow your dreams and build roller coasters. That's what Nev says. Go with the log ride track for this one. And up it goes. This one shouldn't be too intense. Let's keep building. What do we have? Oh yeah, info kiosk, finally. Get some other rides going. Let's get a log flume up. Log flume! Perhaps I can fit one. Probably not. I'm probably gonna have to build one. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but I'm thinking we could probably build one over this way. If I put it all the way here, but I do have to be careful to hmm. find a strategic spot for this. Probably right here. Problem is going to be turning. So I'm going to have to work backwards a little bit there. It's as high as it's gonna go, apparently. Let's just make this go in a loop. Oops. It's a little bit too low. It is kind of annoying that I can't build this park track lower, and yet I can build this lower. Why do you torment me so, game? And over. Somehow. Some way. Eh, but not that way. Or that way. Or that way. Don't you give me options, game? Give me some bloody options. And right there. That'll work. Gonna go like that, and we're gonna go like this. Sucks that we can't build these close together, but that's all right. Our log flume is in action. Let's say we've already done a pretty good job with this tight amount of space. All right, we already got our first guests lining up for the log flume. I cannot sing today. I'm way too nasally for that. Let's get this guy up. Yes, buy my umbrellas. 
buy them at exorbitant prices. Up to five dollar. Five dollar. Make you holla. I'll put another one on this side so people don't get angry. I don't know how they could possibly get lost on this map, but you never know. Somehow they always manage. And we need some more campaigns. Campaign for the park. Let's do some more drinks. Drinks on me, folks. Come on out and get your free drink. Might be fun to build one of these. Kind of make it swerve around a little bit. Since it appears that I can go under the track, it'll make things a little bit easier. Oops. We'll make the station as far as we can. Even it out. We'll go up under here. These tight constraints are no match for me. Maybe they are. One of these days I'll make this stuff fit. gotten away with it too if it wasn't for these meddling space requirements. Lead this piece of track and connect up. Sweet! Go for a test run, shall we? kind of car should we use? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, we're gonna go with the trucks. That wasn't really much of a guess, but I ain't got a coin around, so I can't flip a coin. So I don't know how you'd flip a coin when there's three of them. I guess I could go and get my D&D &D dice. Do a nice dice roll. Come on, folks. People lined up for that one quick. They were just craving some gentle rides. I know what you people want. I know your body. And we'll go for some free rides on roller coaster number three. People are still flooding in. Pretty soon we're gonna hit capacity for this park. The pier might collapse. Your pier is collapsing. There's got to be a limit on how many people can be walking on this pier one time. For safety reasons. I sure hope everyone here can swim. Kind of waiting on something to be developed that I can throw into this park with minimum space. Could try my hand at building another ride. I don't think that roller coaster is gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to stick to the crazy rodent coasters. But for once, we could probably build a custom one. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be real tough. Down you go. Let's not go all the way down. Let's keep it level. I think we just connected up right here. And that is how you meet space requirements. Crud. That is not how you meet space requirements, because now, well, maybe I have enough room over here. 
Yeah, that might work. Maybe. Nope. Not gonna work. Come on, there's gotta be a way to make this thing happen. Nope, I don't think so. I think we are stuck. Alright, got my spiral slide. Not going to make an entrance line. I'm just gonna throw it there. Set all the basic standard parameters. And open for business. Not seeing anything else worth building yet. See if any of these custom builds can be crammed in here. Even if I have to do a repeat. Come on. Who's your daddy? And what does he do? Did I see something just now? I think I'm crazy. Ain't gonna work either. I think we pretty much hit our space requirements here. Check out the objective. All right, we're about to hit it, really. As soon as we hit this objective, I'm thinking that's probably where the episode is going to end. This one was a little bit shorter than anticipated, uh, but not by much. Uh, considering this is such a small park, we don't have a lot to work with. Take another info kiosk. Come on, everybody. Buy my overpriced umbrellas quickly. Snatch them up before it's too late. I would hate for you to melt. You might be like the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch of the Weast. See how the campaigns are going. All right, we'll go ahead and give free entry to the park since we're trying to lure a few more people in the door to meet our objective. I did say I would at least try to do that. There's a lot of them coming, though. A lot more showing up than leaving. I like that they incorporate these houses over here. That's kind of cool. You get a lot more outside scenery here. It must be hard maintaining a roller coaster park over water in the real world. Wonder how you maintain structural integrity and make sure that everything is going to hold up. You have to send scuba divers down there to check it out every once in a while? I have no idea. That's why I'm asking. Damn it. My ride is broken. Oh, wait. No, I just ran tests. Dur -dur -dur. It might help if I open the ride. Come on, it's a log ride, sort of. People shouldn't have a problem with that when it's raining. Never understood why people won't go on rides when it's raining, even water rides. I think they still have a problem with those as well when it's raining. Very, very strange. What's our next item that's being built? It's a roller coaster. I just don't know which one. I think uh, probably thrill rides and gentle rides would be the way to go for this park, just considering the size constraints. Not a lot of room for these things. Get some French fries. Some more French fries. I'll just load people up on junk food. No room for anything else. I mean, you got free entry to the park. You might as well pay for my food. The freeloaders. The people are all freeloaders.
Oh man, we're almost there. We got like 12 guests left to go. Come on, 12 guests. I'm just gonna start throwing down cotton candy. That'll lure them in. Bitches love cotton candy. And there it is, folks. All right, we've hit our objective. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, sure. It didn't make any sense. If you did, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm sure you have if you're 63 episodes into this. Well, I think we're at 61, actually. If you're 61 episodes into this, you've probably been subscribed for a time. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.